Here's a video for how to use Mac in Via, which is a great place for you to have access to online digital resources. There's um, hundreds of ebooks that you can read from home, um, along with some various research tools that I'm going to show you how to use. So to log into Mac in Via, all you do is open Safari or Chrome, whichever browser you would like to use, and you go to www.macinvia.com. You can see the web link at the top for how to spell it, M-A-C-K-I-N-V-I-A dot com. And then this is what the login page will look like. To log into the Mac and Via site, all you have to do is type in the user ID and the password. They are the same. You do not have to type anything in the first box, which asks for the school or library name. You can just leave it blank. Your user ID is Mary Beck ES, which just stands for Mary Beck Elementary School. So your user ID is Mary Beck ES, and the password is the same, also Mary Beck ES. After you fill your user ID and your password in, you'll just tap Log In. As you can see, I've successfully logged in. This is the home screen. You can always tell what screen that you're on by looking in the top left-hand corner. In green, by the green arrow, it says Home. If I tap on that waffle, the three lines, then it will open my menu so that I can navigate to different kinds of resources. As you can see, I've tapped on the waffle. This pulls up the menu for Mac and Via. So you can tap on different buttons to navigate. It's very similar to what you guys are used to looking at with Epic. Um, we've already seen the home screen. If you tap on all resources, then you're going to notice um, that all 482 sources will pull up. You can also navigate by category, which is one of my suggestions for you, so that you can look in categories that you're interested in reading about. I'll show you more about that on another screen. If you only want to search through the ebooks, you could tap on the ebooks link. There's also databases that have been loaded and links that you can look through um, to find more information for stuff to read about while you're gone. So I've tapped on the categories button. There are so many different categories that you can look through. I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like when I tap on animals so that you can see all the different options for books that you could check out to read. So I tapped on animals. There's 106 different ebooks that have to do with animals that you can look at. All you have to do is tap the green bar underneath the resource of each item that says open now. I also placed a green arrow in the top right hand corner. If you tap on that waffle, it'll change the layout so that you can see all of the books um, with just their covers rather than listed like it is right here. So you can see that the layout totally changed. Instead of having each book in a list, it now just has all of the title covers um, in tiles. So if I want to see more information about each book, you would just tap on a cover. When you tap on a book cover, it'll pull open all the details about that ebook. If you decide that this is a book that you would like to read, all you have to do is hit the green open now bar and then the book will open for you to read. So on this screen I went ahead and hit uh, read this book and then it pulls it open. As you can see it looks very similar to how a book would look in Epic or any other source that you're reading books from. A couple other places that you might want to look around on Mac and Via are the databases. I especially really like the DK Find Out. That's one of our favorite uh, publishers. So if you open this database, there's all kinds of fun animal quizzes and things that you can take. They've got lots of really great research and books that you can read right from their website. And finally, under the links 
page, there are quite a few websites that you can navigate to to do some different interactive activities. Um, my favorites that I've enjoyed looking at from this website are How Stuff Works. Um, Khan Academy has all kinds of activities, so there's a link directly from that. Nat Geo is another great world of information. Um, and then TED has a bunch of TED Ed Talks that you could watch to continue your learning.